This is our rock and pull industries. And we're working on a 1948 Panhead. We've actually completed the repairs on it. It got hit pretty good. And this side was up in the rear and this side was up and there was a twist in the, in the neck a little bit, a camber issue. We got that all pulled around. Everything is great on this motorcycle. However, this has got a flat spot underneath here where it originally got hit. And there's not too much I could do with that. Um, and then we noticed something else here too. We've, uh, we've gone ahead and I'm going to show you a little quick cross measure here with the equalizer. So we got that on there and now we're going to put this over here. And if you notice, it won't go in the hole. So this bracket looks like it was cut off and welded back on again. And that's not something that we do. I don't, I try not to cut and weld on any frame. We don't use heat when we repair them either. And I'll weld if I have to weld on the frame, I'll do it, but I'd, I'd rather not. For something like this, this, this came from 84 below down in Watsonville. It's got Mike Galley. He's got the fixtures for all of this stuff. He's a hell of a welder, a hell of a fabricator. He'll, he'll dial all this shit in once it's all nice and straight. He's a, he's a great guy down there. He knows what he's doing. He's a true craftsman, which brings up my next little thing here. He's a true craftsman. He's over here redoing these frames that are 75 years old and making them good. Well, we're repairing these frames. And there's only a little more than a handful of people around the world that are doing this frame repair once they get into a wreck. And these motorcycles are expensive and frames are not exactly cheap and, and it takes a long time to get. Imagine 50 years from now when you restore a road glide that you bought and uh, you're trying to find a frame. You know, Harley Davidson, they, they discontinue stuff pretty quick here. So you're not going to find a frame. We're going to have to have somebody out to repair it. And there's nobody getting in this trade as far as frame repair goes and the true craftsman like Mike Galley at 84 Below and uh, at 47 Industries out there in New Jersey. There's there's less than a handful of people doing this and um, kind of makes me, I won't be around so it won't matter to me anyway, but you know 50 years from now what's going to happen with when these guys are restoring these road glides or road kings and these dinas? Who's going to be repairing these frames? Nobody's knowing how to do it. Everybody wants to do all this tech IT stuff. Um, this is uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the future here, huh? But anyway, we got this dialed in. Frame repair, it's, uh, I don't know, I love it. I, I'm happy as hell with it. I think it's a great trade. But anyway, we'll see what happens in the future. I kind of went off on the subject a little bit, but there we go. The frame is dialed in, ready to go. This is what we do here at Rack and Pull.